Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here, just doing another SQL video. So today I want to talk about if you have used the group by clause to group your rows and used some sort of function to get the uh, to process the value. So for example, if I have selected from the students table um, if I have selected from the students table the gender of each student and their age so I'm just gonna go back to that so if you guys remember this is the function that you use to get someone's age in the number of years that we talked about previously so if we run this query we get the gender of each student and the age okay which is from this table three males five males and four females and so on so what I what I'm doing now is um, I want to now uh, group them in terms of gender so group by gender all right and if you run this it's not gonna work right because if you use group by then you need to use some sort of aggregate function okay some sort of function as to how you want to display the rows in groups so I'm gonna put in uh, for example the maximum age of students in each gender so you got female the maximum age is 18 male the maximum is 17 and so on now this is where this is what I'm actually gonna trying to show you is if you want to only display the gender that has particular maximum so having this function here the value the output of this function to be uh, bigger than 17 if you put this in then out of the two rows only the row with the maximum of age of 18 is going to be displayed right because you've put another condition in to say that the maximum has to be bigger than 17 for it to be displayed so let's try it with another function let's put in let's say average so this is the average age of males and females so if I put in here another condition having the average is bigger than 14 oops both of them bigger than uh, uh, smaller than smaller than 16 okay let's put that in smaller than 16 All right then only the one with 15.4 is going to show okay so that's the having clause that I wanted to show you the next thing I want to show you is how to update how to update a particular row so let's jump out of this query so let's save this jump out of that okay so let's say in the students table I want to update someone's phone number let's say I want to update John Smith's phone number so in order to do that let's create another query so create query uh, SQL view and the update function works like this you're gonna put in update you're gonna put in the name of the table which is students and then you're going to put in um, what you, what value you want to set. So set uh, phone equals set phone to equal. Uh, and if you guys remember, the phone number is actually a variable character data field. So you need to put it under quotations. Let's put in all zero, so it's obvious all right set phone number is that where <clears throat> the student's name last uh, students ID is one it's equal to one so if you run this run it you're about to update click yes and now let's have a look at the students table the phone number is now updated to all zeros so that's the update query if you guys want to update the value of 
um, any particular row, this is what you do. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.